Hello. Hello, Rose. Yes? It's Roy from the Homeowners Association. Yes? And I'm, I'm calling to let you know we're going to be painting your, your roof this week on Wednesday. We're gonna, my roof? Yeah, we're going to come over and paint your roof. What do you paint my roof for? I don't need a painted roof. Yeah, we're just going to paint over the shingles. It's uh, And it's going to be ultraviolet ink. I mean, ultraviolet paint. So uh, I don't want any ultraviolet ink on my roof. Yeah, well, you won't even be able to see it. You, you just won't be able to... I don't want that. What, what, what advantage is that to me? Oh, none to you. Um, it's just a deal we've worked out. Uh, with some people, and and they want us to paint your roof with ultraviolet ink, well, or I mean ultraviolet well, paint. I'm sorry, I don't, I don't want my roof painted, so don't come over here. Well, we already signed the the papers, though. I don't so, care what papers you sign. It's my house. I can tell you what to do. Yeah, but you never go on the roof, right? And I, I don't go on the roof, but I, I it's my roof, and you're not going to do anything with it. Well, what if we give so you? So you can decide what you want to do with it, but you're not coming to my house and painting my roof. So forget it. Goodbye. I'm going to eat. No, can we give you uh, twenty bucks? Yeah. What? Who the fuck are you? Yeah. Who the fuck are you? Yeah. Who the fuck are you? Doctor Roy's your bell. I don't understand. Who the fuck are you? Yeah. Who the fuck are you? Yeah. Who the fuck are you? Doctor Roy's your bell. You're a fucking asshole. I, 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 what? I, 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 what? What are you talking about? You're a fucking asshole. Who the fuck are you? Who the fuck are you? Who the fuck are you? Dr. Roy Zerbell. Dr. Roy Zerbell. Dr. Roy. What? Zerbell! Hello there, everybody. You're listening to The Snowplow Show, episode 827. It's brought to you by I Regret Jumping, Fun Society Arcade. By the way, Fun Society Arcade, I watched another season of Mr. Robot, but I still have a couple to go. I promised I would at the meetup. It was a good season. It was season two. I've only ever watched number one. Uh, Holden MJ, FOD87, and Jimmy S. They are also responsible for bringing this show to you today. Uh, I guess I announced that Pranksgiving happened. Hopefully you all know about that by now, since I released a show last week or earlier this week, maybe? Was it last week? I don't know. It was called Pranksgiving 2023, and it had me and Devin and Mr. Biggs making prank calls together. But the more important show for you to hear... Oh yeah, I put these in the show notes last time, so I must have already talked about these. Sorry, everybody. Don't be angry. But g show, that's the one you want to go listen to. If you haven't heard that yet, that had me on it, and it had Carol on it, bringing in the guests. It had g and Dwight, Devin, Dragonmere. I never can remember all of the people, I'm sorry. Snappy was there, but that's the show where g brings in guests who are trying to promote things, and we all pretend to be callers asking them crazy questions. And we just see how far we can take it until they hang up. And that's always a lot of fun. There's three hours of that. And it was a pretty good show this year. So definitely go listen to that at prankcast.com slash phone losers. You will see the last two shows that I did on there. And one of them is Jihad's show. Uh, another important thing, if you've ordered stuff from my band camp, which is phonelosers.bandcamp.com. We've got the uh, vinyl album for sale and coins and a CD is on there, I think. I don't know. There's a few things in the merch section at phonelosers.bandcamp.com but if you've ordered stuff from there i have not fulfilled orders in i don't know like a month or something i need to do that and i'm going to do that soon i'm going to try and do that this weekend or this coming week i want to get them all done before christmas gets too close but just remember if you order anything i don't know like after this week it might not be there by christmas so don't count on it but if you've ordered stuff already like a month ago or a few weeks ago You'll be getting a notification soon that it's been shipped, hopefully. And then a few people ordered stuff from me through email. Don't worry, I'll get to you guys too. I've just been lazy, that's all. Today I'm going to play the voicemails uh, before I play the prank calls. Because all of you love the voicemails so much, I was thinking, let's just make the show all about the voicemails. Bring them up front and play more of them before we do prank calls. No, I'm kidding. I just want to play one voicemail from you. It's my favorite kind of voicemail, and it made me very happy. And I wanted to make you very happy too. This is a lady that I sort of remember talking to a few weeks ago about her car ding, and she has called me back and left a new message. Hi, Brad. 
aka Roy. This is Andrea. We spoke on the phone a couple days ago and I found our conversation odd, so I asked my work to pull up the camera footage from the parking lot. Mm -hmm. (laughs) And um, not only did you not hit my car, but uh, I saw a person put a note on my car and I did a little research. I actually can't remember what I told her. Was I standing on her car? Or maybe she's the one I astral traveled into her car. And I discovered your show, The Snowplow Show, (laughs) which is hilarious. And I love it. Isn't this great? um, I've been binge listening to it for the past few days. Um, so she I, left this uh, voicemail on November 24th, so by now she's sick of us and has probably called the police and my days of doing the show are nearly over. I want to let you know that um, I thoroughly enjoyed your prank, even though somebody did hit my side view mirror, but apparently was not in the parking lot where I work. <laughs> Isn't that great? She actually got the footage and didn't find me acting like a lunatic around her car. She just found the guy who went up and left the note. So he's totally fucked. So um, anyways, I just wanted you to know that I enjoyed your prank and I love your show and I will be listening to it over here. Of course. Have a very good night, Brad Carter. Okay, bye. So that's the Snowplow Show's latest new listener. Welcome to the show, Andrea. We're glad you found us. You passed the test that most recipients do not pass. And hopefully we'll hear from you in the regular voicemail someday. And you'll be showing up at meetups and leaving carding notes on cars next year. I wish I could tell you all where Andrea lives. I mean, her state, but I don't know if she wants that. Because I just want the person who left the note on Andrea's car to know that you made a fan for the Snowplow Show by leaving that note. By the way, I think on the most recent hobo sode, I did a few more carding calls. If you want to go listen to those, you can find hobo sodes at patreon.com slash phone losers i think that's enough announcements for today today's show is going to be kind of short like the prank call segment and i'm very sorry about that whenever i record prank calls i usually get about two hours of them recorded and that way when i edit them all down they're usually about an hour long but not today today i did my editing and i was left with 24 minutes which you know it happens sometimes sorry about that everybody hopefully the next show will be a bit longer Wow, look at this. I have a local spam email sent to the PLA's main address. And it says, hey, now that it's getting colder and not much bad weather, it generally is a good time to check out the roof. Would you like us to stop over and do a free roof inspection? If so, we can stop over next week if you'd like. And they sign off with their actual local company phone number and name and everything. How am I getting local spam on my PLA email? But of course this means I'm going to break the rules and I'm going to prank locally because this guy needs a number change. Hey there, this is Roger from uh, Verizon Wireless Customer Service. Yes. I was was calling to let you know we're going to be changing this number, this 4199 number, to a new number. So uh, if you have something to write with, I can give you your new number. Why why would you do that? Uh, It's just going to be changing. We're going to change the number to a new number and your old one's going to be disconnected. No, no, no. Why, why are you going to do that? Uh, I was monkeying around in your account, and I just started the change order. And it's pretty much done at this point. I don't know how to go back. I was just, No, this is, this is my business number. You can do that. Oh, well, it, it'll still be a phone number you can use. It'll still work as a business number. It's still a business number. It's just uh, it's going to be a different phone number than 4199. I have a new. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about, man. But no, you're not going to change my number. Oh yeah, we absolutely. My, we're changing your number right now. I'm in the middle of the change order screen right now, sir. But uh, why? I didn't request this. I was in your account. I was monkeying around. I'm a new hire, okay? So I was just in there, just kind of testing care. things out. And I changed your I, number. I, I'm, I'm sorry. I don't care. I don't care if you're new or not. I do not change my number. Oh, it's basically already changed. Is what I'm saying. Well, talk like, to your management. Talk the, to whoever you need to talk by to. By the time we hang up, no. it's going to be changed. I just need to give you your new phone number first. And and you have a brand new area code and everything. Okay. Are you ready for it? Yeah. Okay, it's 971-328-4800. What is it? Is that on four? Three... I'm sorry, what? 
9713284858. That's your brand new phone number. That's the only one that's going to work anymore. 4858? Yes. Okay. Which store are you in? Uh, I'm not in a store. I'm in the call center in Chicago, Illinois. And uh, and what is your employee number? Uh, it's 514238. And this is going to start working three. immediately uh, within a minute. And then your old one's going to go ahead and say that it's uh, No, man. You don't understand. You don't understand. Why? What don't I understand? The, this number that you're calling in, the 4199. Yes. Uh-huh. I've used this for many years. I have customers calling me here. I have customers texting me here. Listen here, sir. Now you're going to use a different number for many years, okay? Quit complaining. It's just a phone number. No, Fo- I'm not fucking complaining, you phone stupid n- asshole. Phone numbers don't matter, matter anymore. Does. It does. No, it doesn't. You're a fucking idiot, man. You, Seriously. You're the idiot, sir. Going around sitting yeah, out. Yeah, I'm the fucking idiot for changing my number, right? What the fuck are you doing in my, my, my account monkeying around? You're acting like I'm destroying your business because you have a new phone number. Yes, yeah, you're fucking destroying my business. I was just, shit. I was just in there fucking m- understand. monkeying around, that's all. Well, don't fucking monkey around with, with other people's business, man. Well, no, I'm supposed to. I'm supposed to get in accounts and just kind of monkey around and figure out how the system works. Well, monkey around, monkey around with your own shit. Why mine? I don't have a Verizon wireless account. I use Boost. You're a fucking joke, dude. What do you mean I'm a fucking joke? You're the one that has a new phone number now. Got to go out and get a bunch of new business cards like a loser. Right. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Okay. I'm glad you agree with me. Yeah. Hey, also, can you stop, sending, can you stop sending me those spam emails? I don't really appreciate it. Oh, yeah. All right. I'll tell your mom to stop. <clears throat> anyway, that's, that's why I decided to change your number because I didn't appreciate the spam email. Oh, well, it's all right. Thank you. I love you. And there he goes. What did I say? What did I say wrong? Why is he being weird about it and hanging up on me? What's up? Hey there. Uh, this is Dave from the Namecheap Internet Company. I'm calling to let you know that your domain's going to be changed. The CMOfly.com. Oh. What is it? The CMOfly.com. That's a really dumb email address that you have. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're going to change that. All right. Thank can you. Can you write it down? Know. Get a pen or a pencil? No, dude, I'm not busy. You can write it down it? next to your uh, phone number. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good. How do I get off this email list? Um, well, if you tell me what your email address is, I can tell Adam, who is uh, sending out the, the the stuff. Why don't you just not to, spam people? To, just don't spam people, okay? I'm not. Try that. I have a company that does it. No, so, yeah. you're spamming uh, people. I didn't ask for this. I understand. And like I said, I can... Is this spamming? Because we're having a, a bad weather. And usually, a lot of people is like, who do I call for a roof? Or who do I call for this? Oh, so if there's bad so weather, we it's, had, it's not spam then? It's not spam if there's bad weather? No, really, because we just, we just... I think just it is. I think the, the weather does not determine whether or not it's spam, you fucking idiot. <laughs> All right. Damn him, now he thinks it's funny. But he's probably just super relieved to find out that it's a prank call and that his number's not really changing. So you're welcome for that, Mr. Roof Inspector slash Spammer. Oh, wait, no, it's not spam because, you know, the we- the weather's nice or the weather's, is the weather nice? It's like 30 degrees outside. I think he said when the weather's bad, then you're allowed to spam. Remember that, everybody. Life hack. It's totally okay to spam when the weather outside is shitty. Hello? 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 Oh, hello. This is Steven from Verizon Wireless. This is Samuel. Hello? Yes, sir. Oh, okay. I, I'm calling to let you know we're changing your phone number today. This 8426 number. We've got to change it to a new number. I'm happy with what I've got. Well, I'm sorry. It's I, not really up to you. It's just a little... Uh, sir, little, I have applications in under this phone number, and I have family that have... Yeah, just tell your family your new phone number. Hey, I guess he could barely hear me anyway. I'm sorry, the person you were trying to reach... And now it's just going straight to voicemail. Here, let me try calling from a different number. 
I'm sorry, the person oh, you are trying well, to reach has a voicemail box that has not... He just shut it all off. He must have snapped his flip phone in half, would be my guess. That's the number from Anime Girl 304. She wanted me to change his number. Damn it, Samuel. So here's one. Oh, this is a weird one, Anime Girl. I don't know what this is, but it's called a DIS Data Center. Are they going to care that I'm changing their number? I don't think they are. Department of Energy and Environment, how can I help you? Hey there, it's Dave from the AT&T. I was calling to let you know we're changing your phone number today. This 0744. We're going to change it to a brand new phone number. So do you have something to write it down with, your new phone number? Uh, you talking about this number? Yeah, this, uh, oh. the one I called, the 0744. We're going to change okay. it to a brand new phone number. All right, what's that number? Uh, that's going to be 618-423908. 423908? Yes, that's it. Six one eight four two three nine zero eight. Yeah, well, it's four two, and then three nine zero eight. That's my social security number, my personal one. Did you write that down? Yeah, she mm -hmm. said you're trying to change our number. I'm com oh I'm yeah. So sorry. I just got so confused with this call. Oh yeah, no, we're we're changing your O seven four four number. Uh, uh -huh. but, um, I, I accidentally gave him my, ma'am, why do you have my social security number? That, are you some sort of identity thief? No. I mean, I never asked you, you wrote it that. down. You wrote it down. Like, what are you going to do I with that? I thought she was giving, um, nothing. I actually marked it out. I'm... Well, it's got to be marked out so no one can, well, how do I know you didn't write it down twice and you only marked out once? Sir, I'm not going to take your social security okay, number. Okay, well, I just, it's a little weird that you'd have it written down there, like right in front of you. Because you said you was giving me the number, so I thought it was the phone number. That's what you said you was going to give me, and so that's what I wrote down. Are you not even and concerned that I'm it. changing the number? Or do you not care about that part? Um, I am. You know, maybe, um, let me get you over to the supervisor. Oh, I'm going to tell the supervisor all about you writing down my social security number. All right. Can you please hold? Yeah. E and E, this is Keith. Hey, Keith. That's it's hey. How's it going? Dave from AT and T. Pretty good. Uh, we're just changing you your Steve. We're, yeah, we're changing. No, I said Dave. We're changing your phone Dave, number. Sorry, this oh uh, seven four four number. We're changing it. Yeah, we're gonna change it to a new phone number. Okay. Have we um? Have uh, how how does this come about on y'all's end? Oh well, this is our main line, and we're gonna have to change that a lot of different places. Oh yeah, yeah, you're gonna want to give out the new number to like everybody, because uh, this O seven four four number, it's gonna go from now on. When people call it, it's gonna say, "We're sorry, this number has been disconnected due to non due to uh, customer non payment, like you're a deadbeat." So okay, that part was an accident. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> okay. But, um, what's the reason it's getting changed? I'm sorry. I, I'm just, I know I'm going to get asked a lot of questions, so I want to make sure to, to try to have some answers. Um, okay. but why, why is it getting changed? Oh, well, uh, I work from home and I have this little three-year-old daughter and she came in here and just started hitting buttons on my computer. And the next thing I know, the number is changed, changed to a whole new number. And and this uh, 074 number, 0744 number, it's been put on a list where you can't get it back. Like it's, it's You're on kidding. a kidding. No, it's like on a oh what like a blacklist, you know, like okay, like, like cause it's it's the list that we put numbers on when they spell curse words. Huh? Yeah. Okay. Uh, do you want your new number? So there's no way to ever get it back. Oh no, no, no! My three-year-old took care of that. Oh geez, that is absolutely horrible. Yeah, well, I did yell at her. When is the change going to take place? 
Uh, pretty much as soon as we hang up, I just wanted to give you your new phone number, and then I'll go ahead and hit the complete button, and everything will go through. Okay, and you're with you're with AT and T, right? Yeah. Dave, what's your last name? Carter. Carter. Okay. Yeah. I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. I'm just trying to get the information because I know. So this is this is the main line for uh, one of our a state agency. So uh-huh. like. I'm going to get a lot of like, what the heck type of questions. So I'm just trying to get the information that I can. What's the new number? Oh yeah. Just tell them I'm a new employee. I didn't know what I was doing. And then my, th- my three year old <laughs> sure didn't know what she was doing. Yeah. Or maybe she did. Yeah. That's, that's very possible. Yeah. It's like an evil genius. Uh, what, what is, what is the new number? Uh, six, one, eight, four, two, three, nine, zero, eight. Six one eight. Yes. Okay, so it's it's a five hundred one number. Oh no, no. Well, what number do you have there? What what do you write down? It's a five, we our our main line is a five hundred one six eight two zero seven four four. That's our phone number. Oh yeah, yeah. That's the one we're changing. It's going to say disconnected on that line. Yeah, and so the new phone number is not going to be a five hundred one number. Uh, well, what number did I give you? A six one eight number. Oh, what's the rest of it? Four two three nine, and then I didn't catch the last couple. Oh, zero eight. Zero right. eight. Yeah. Did you write it all down? Wait a minute, so sir. Six. Sir, that. Oh yeah, go ahead. No, I don't think that's right, man. Well, sir, that's my social security number. That's only nine digits. Why are you giving your social security number out? Why are you writing down your social my social security number? That's mine. What are you gonna do with it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we lost him. I don't know what the hell that was, anime girl, but I think you made me prank some sort of a government agency of some sort. I think they said Department of Energy or... Wait, hold on. What did they say in the beginning? Let me go back. Yeah, I just listened to her again. She mumbled quite a bit, but something about the Department of Energy. So thanks a lot, anime girl. I'm pranking a data center at the Department of Energy. And man, they do care if their number changes. They don't want that. Not the guy anyway. The girl didn't seem to care. Thank you, though, for those two numbers. Both Samuel and the Department of Energy. Hello. Hi, Rocco. Yes. Hey there. It's it's Roy, your neighbor. How you doing, Roy? Pretty good. Hey, are those yellow shutters on the front of your house? Yellow? Yeah. No. But there's one missing, though, right? Uh, probably. <laughs> I haven't really paid attention to it. I don't yeah, know. Well, yeah. Maybe it's tan or something. I don't know. It's a real ugly color. Is there any way you could change those to like a better color and, you know, get that one replaced? Because you're making the whole neighborhood look kind of run down. Are you being serious right now? Yeah, I was just, I was jogging by and I, I noticed all that. Also, you have like a, an indoor bulb in your porch light. It's like a low wattage, yeah. low wattage indoor bulb. It just makes the whole, it makes your house look like a crack house, and then that affects the property values across the street, down the road. Can you just please fix those shutters? This, this is like some kind of joke, right? No, like you you knew what I was talking about with the shutter missing, right? Uh, one, no, one, I don't. It's like one of those front shutters. Do you have shutters in the back? No. Oh, I was gonna say you could. Take the shutter from the back at least and maybe just replace that one. What happened to it? No, I guess he doesn't want to talk about his shutters with me anymore. Let me see if he'll pick up again. Hello. Hey, if if I come over with a hundred watt bulb, can I just go ahead and put that in your porch light myself? No. Why? I'll do it for free. I'm not asking for money. No, no I understand that. I'll even leave your 60 watt bulb there on the porch. It's all good. We're all good. Okay. Well, We're no, you're not. You got the ugly sh- shutters and, and a missing shutter. Yeah, it'll be all right. Like, why have shutters at all? Exactly. Just take them all off. Can I take all your shutters off? Yeah. Really? Come I do can, it right now. I can take your shutter. Well, no, I'll be doing it late at night, like probably around one or two in the morning. I go on late night walks and jugs. It's, that sounds wonderful. Okay. 
Yeah, I'd be happy to. I, I could you know, just leave him like there in the driveway. Is it AJ? Uh, no, no, my name is Roy. What's all that noise in the background? I hear a lot of ruckus. Just, just ruckus. Can you tell that ruckus to shut the fuck up? Okay, we lost him again. That was the next door Nick number. He pointed out the shutters to me and how yellow they were. Oh, he also pointed out that the husband does finished carpentry. So if he's a carpenter, why can't he just fix those shutters? They're on the bottom floor. You just walk up to the window. It's easy. Fucking Rocco, take care of your house. Get your fake shutter back up there. What? Hi, Dominica. Yeah. It's Dave from the Homeowners Association. Oh, hi. Hi. Uh, they wanted me to call and just ask if you could stop uh, aiming that uh, directional microwave satellite thing that you've got around the neighborhood. Because it's, it's what, freaking some people out. Like? I'm sorry? What directional? Oh, you just stop beaming microwaves at your neighbor's houses. No. Wait, what? Am I beaming? Sorry, what? I can't hear you over that. What was that weird noise I no, just heard? No, I'm, I'm asking... I'm sorry, what am uh, I beaming at neighbor's houses? Oh, microwaves. You know, like, it, it, the, the, that, like, really, uh, you know, messes up stuff in people's houses, and I know it's what, it's probably a fun, what, it's probably a funny prank and everything, but can you just not... What microwaves? Oh, you know, you're just, you've got one of those weird satellite-looking things, and you I, keep pointing around. What and sa- I have no satellite things different in front houses. of my house, or... You, you, I have no satellite things. You know, Mrs. Stuman down the road, you, you made you made her fish tank boil. This must be a joke. No, it's not a joke. Ma'am, could you please, please tell that kid to shut the fuck up? Or maybe just walk out of the room? Okay, she was on to me. Which is pretty impressive since she has like 50 kids over there distracting her. Freaking Dominica. Here's a call coming in. Let's see who this is. Hello? Who are you? Well, I have a missed call from this number. Oh, I was making a prank call to you. Prank call? Yeah. Yeah, I was going to say something <laughs> silly or, or uh, you know, something to piss you off. I forget what. I'm calling up a lot of people right. today. All right. All right. Maybe I'll get you, you know, sometime in the future. Yeah, hopefully not. Oh, I will. You just wait. <laughs> Great, I don't even know who that was. Here's a number from next door, Nick. He wants me to call these people who lost their keys and let them know that I did not find their keys. Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Let's call about your lost keys. You put up an ad for about lost keys. Hello. Oh, hey. You suddenly decided to say hello. What happened before? Cuz you were just sit- you were just sitting there not saying anything. And then I mentioned the lost keys and you know all of a sudden you were like, "Hello, what happened before?" Hello? Uh, uh, are you from Michigan? Yes. Yeah, I know I have a weird phone number. Okay. Sorry. It's okay. Um yeah, uh, we're actually, uh, do you live in the same subdivision, like from the Facebook post? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's okay. how I saw the post. Okay. Um, um, on my next door. Oh, you're right next door, okay. Well, no, on yeah. the next door app. Oh, okay. Um, we're actually from out of town, and my, my uh, mother and father-in-law are the ones who actually posted it. Oh, for us. That was creepy so, when you when I first called and you were just sitting there, but I heard you breathing. It was like a horror movie. Sorry. I got the willies. <laughs> my, my bad. I'll just, it was out of town for a moment, so I normally wait oh. for someone to address themselves before I uh, answer it, like say something. Oh, that doesn't make sense at all. You should just say hello. <laughs> my bad. There's so many scammer calls nowadays. Yeah. So you don't want these this uh, Toyota... 
keys with all the keychains on it? I do. Well, I didn't find it. Uh, you didn't? Or no. You did? No, I've never seen any keys like that. It says Toyota, Camry, Hyundai, and lots of state keychains on it. Nope, I haven't seen anything like that. And, oh. I, and I go for a lot of walks. Okay. Well, what'd you call for then? Oh, I called to let you know I did not find the keys. I'm sorry. Oh. Oh, okay. All right. Well, I wish, I'm going to let you go now. I wish I had, but uh, nope, didn't find them. So it's, I can't really return them to you or your parents. Okay, well, n- next time I would, that's a little bit of weird. What? Okay, thank you. Weird, Bye. weird like how you picked up the phone? <laughs> Just sat there. There you go, next door, Nick. I did it. I said I didn't find them. She mentioned her husband on the post, too. She's like, call me or my husband, but only one phone number. So hopefully the husband calls me back and he's like, what the fuck? What's wrong with you? You fucking weirdo. Oh, crud. I think I was. Oh, man. They started to call back. I mean, they did call back. The phone was ringing from that number I just talked to. And right as I started to click it, they hung up on me. So hopefully they called back. Or wait, no, I should call back and say I missed a call from this number. Hello? Hello, I missed a call from this number. Hi, sorry, I accidentally called back. I didn't mean to. Uh, You are terrible at phones. First, you can't even answer the phone. You just sit there like a creep, breathing heavily. (laughs) I, I answered it with my watch. Oh, uh, that doesn't make it any better because you still didn't say anything. You just breathed heavily into your watch. My bad. I just woke up. No. Oh, yeah. Um, well, hey, listen here. You hang up that motherfucking phone right fucking now. Um. That, that's how I say bye to people. Oh. Okay. Bye. Hang that motherfucking phone up, lady. There we go. Hey, Brad, this is Travis Dickel calling from the cold state of Minnesota. Hello, listening for Travis. The past few years, my first time calling. Currently walking home from school because I couldn't get a ride after the ski meet. It's cold as hell. Uh-huh. I feel pretty lonely. So I just wanted to thank you for all of the great things you do for me and everybody else in the community. You up the good work and all the great and all the best Yeah. I only understood a little bit of that, but I hope you made it home and didn't die in the snow or anything or have to slice open an animal and sleep inside for the night. That always sucks. Hey, Brad, it's it's Ice Cat Hi, and Despicable Dogs. Hey. We heard it's your birthday today. No, it's not. So, it's your birthday. No, it's not even close to my birthday. Everybody's wrong about my birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Hey. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. You old fucker. Happy birthday. Make lots of prank phone calls. Yeah. All right. Thank you. I love you. Ooh. This is uh, Ice Cat and Despicable Dog. I know. Thanks for calling me on Not My Birthday. And all of you should be listening to both Ice Cat and Despicable Dogs at prankcast.com slash ice cat and prankcast.com slash despicable dogs. I think that's his URL. Hey, Brad Carter. Petty Pranks here. Hey, Petty Pranks. <laughs> it's been a while. Yeah. I just want to say, I spent, like, the last two days... Why have we not met yet, Petty Pranks? It's fucking bullshit. Watching... You went out and met Ed Bassmaster's mom, but not me. Probably, like, I don't know, like, five years worth of, like, your prank call videos. Mm-hmm. And um, I'm a huge fan. I know. Anyways, uh, I don't really do that stuff anymore. I'm a fan of you too, you fucking it, idiot. But, um, I just want to say hello. And I love that you're still going strong with what you're doing. Oh, freaking awesome. Thanks. Peace. You guys should all go look up Petty Pranks on YouTube. He did a lot of really good stuff. He did a lot of good uh, live, you know, like in-person pranks too. And me and him used to hang out with Ed Bassmaster's mom on video and do prank calls together. It was fun. And then we just all kind of drifted apart. And also rest in peace, Ed Bassmaster's mom. I think she died earlier this year, maybe last year, but I think it was this year. Good times. Hey, Brown, this is Dave from Oregon. I have a, I have a, like a prank idea. <laughs> call my wife and say I want a divorce because she's a stupid cow. 
Um, what? I'm right here. Wow. Tell her she's a stupid cow, and then I, I don't like her. Dude. All right. Great job insulting your wife for entertainment purposes. I'm sure she appreciated it. I think I better stop doing voicemails. I have plenty left in here, but it was a short show today. I don't want it to be mostly voicemails. Nobody wants that. Oh, but wait, I did have two other voicemails in here from recipients. You remember the lady that lost her keys in today's show? Well, I got this voicemail yesterday. I recorded these calls yesterday. Hello, this is David Lewis. Um, My wife said she got a call from someone about uh, about our keys. Um, if you found him, can you uh, call this number and uh, let me know? Thank you. Bye. So the wife is suspicious that I actually do have her keys, and I was just not giving them to her because she was so creepy at the beginning. And hopefully I can find this other one. It's buried in a bunch of other voicemails. Is it this one, maybe? I'm just going to let you know right now. you ever call my mother again and mention my name, it's going to be very bad for you. I can promise you that. Don't you ever call that number again and don't you ever call mine again you hear me (laughs) she got me good there on the end you hear me because when she said that that really let me know that she was serious that sent chills down my spine you know thank you to the sponsors of today's show i regret jumping fun society arcade hold an mj fod 87 and jimmy s i will see all of you next week with another show or two maybe even three hello hi this Monday is at a pay phone and wishes to make a call and bill it to your number. Is that all right? Mildred Monday. I'm Mildred Monday. No, you're not. Mildred's at the pay phone. Good afternoon, Ms. Murray Park Apartments. This is Trace. How can I help you? Hello. Um, I have a, I'm a tenant here. I just have a kind of a problem. Okay. Like, we, we turned our living room into a, a swimming pool. You know, we put plastic up on the walls and the floor and filled the whole thing up with water. Okay. And um, it was working good for a few weeks, but then... Um, it kind of sprung a leak over by where the oven is. So what actually did break? PLA, PLA all day. 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 PLA. PLA all day. There's a YouTube channel that I watch religiously. The losers of America, they post prodigiously. No kidding, hacking, hidden cameras, making hella calls. Social engineering, Brad is catching pokeballs in the backseat of your car. And he's so very sorry. He was searching for the snow like so, so we scratched up your Ferrari. Ferrari. Left a number on the dash, so you called him up so fast. Just to have a little chat, but he's sorry, don't get mad. Cactus, cactus, the house is not a pool. And if you buy an iPad on the street, that's, that's not, not too cool. cool. And if you work at Pizza Hut, he's got you on the camera. Tell them you're from corporate and you're in there. Just like Santa, a shopping spree. People get deceived, dude. Switching off the power, people will believe you. A blockbuster red box, we just put it in. Our BCP for the win once again. PLA, PLA all day. 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 PLA. PLA all day. They'll call you up at 1 a.m. It's on like, sorry guys, we just destroyed your lawn and can you trim your trees? And yes, I have your mail. Undercutting neighbors trying to have a yard sale. Plus, Mildred Monday, rest in peace. Calling up her next akin with jokes on Christmas Eve. And if you're acting racist on the phone, you'll be busted. Checking into Foursquare, Twitter can't be trusted. Rolling up to Walmart, picking up the phone. Pound 9801, you might get a dial tone. Pound 9802, line two, you're connected. You want house on DVD? His response is unexpected. Hey. I just want to say thanks for YouTube's best, most creative phone pranks. In a scary time when the world is stressed and sad, thank God we got phone losers and thank God we still got Brad. Hey, PLA, PLA all day. Phone 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 PLA, PLA all day. PLA, PLA all day. Phone PLA, PLA all day. Hello, who are you holding for? Uh, electronic. Oh, that, that would be me. Uh, I wanted to see if you guys had, uh, Mark and Mindy, uh, that's on a DVD. Mark and Mindy? Yeah, Mark and Mindy. Well, what, like, what do you do? What are you, are you, like, stuck in the past? Come on, watch something new. Watch Scrubs. 
There's some guy on the phone saying he's coming here tomorrow to paint our roof with ultraviolet paint. <laughs>